I'm going to tie what's called a uh, copper top POB Pertagon, size 14. I've got some uh, five, uh, I'm sorry, point oh one five or 15 thousandths lead wire on there. I'm just going to kind of get my base down here a little bit. It's actually a super simple pattern. It's originally tied on a jig hook, but I had somebody ask me to tie this pattern and not on a jig hook, so we'll do one that's not on a jig hook. Alright, this actually, there's just not much involved here. Keep this kind of thin. So for the tail, we've got four strands of Coq de Leon. I'm just going to keep that thread open, wrap this all back up on the top side. Move on me just a little bit. One thing that's cool about these partigans is they're so easy to tie and there's so many variations you can do. Okay. Come down about halfway. Back up just to help build the cone. So for the rib, I'm just going to use some 70 denier uh, fluorescent pink thread. Just going to wrap that underneath my thread, even the tips out. And take my time kind of coming back down just to keep that nice little cone or funnel shape. And tie this in on the underside. I always like tying my ribs in on the underside. Now, for coming back forward, I'm just going to really take my time and just place each thread wrap to kind of finish off this tapered cone shape. If you have any minor lumps or bumps, you can uh, address that with some UV resin. So just to keep this together, since it's thread, uh, I think the original pattern called for uni stretch. But I don't have any hot pink uni stretch, so I'm just gonna super glue one side of the thread. I'll put the two pieces together and start to twist them. Take my finger and pull all that super glue through. Wind that pretty tight. Okay. Just a little bit more. Get it, the thread into more of a rope situation. There we go. So I'm looking for oh, four turns. 
coming up. Evenly spaced. I glued that thread shut and I didn't want to didn't want to pop. That's all right. As long as we have it tied down. You don't have to be super precise on all this. I know these are meant to be super fast and pretty durable. And get them down and fish them. So, next I'll start my whip finish. I just kind of fill in the back of the gap on the bead. All that little white stuff that you see coming off is just wax from pre waxed thread. And I'll pull forward to snap it. Next for the wing case, I'm just going to use some black fingernail polish. And then outside of UV, this thing is done. Just want to get that lined up so everything, can't, everything comes straight down. So, now I'm going to let this dry before I UV it. So when I UV it, I've got another vise sitting off to the side, and I, uh, I'll turn it upside down like this. Uh, so if there's a bubble that occurs, it occurs on the top. And it doesn't start running down the side. So I had somebody ask me to show them how I UV these bugs <clears throat> on the last Purdy Gun video I did. So I said I'd do it on this one. So what I do, I've already got my wing case that's dried. And I'll just take my UV. And I will just put a blob right on top to highlight the wing case. Flip it over and I'll blast it right away as long as I've got it where I want it. I'll blast it right away. Make sure that's good and solid. So now I've got this little bubble back. Then I'll take a cleaned off bodkin. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this out in front of the camera, so it's a little bit more difficult, but I'll just take some UV and just get a little tiny droplet on there. And I'll just start working it around. Uh, if you're not used to doing these, sometimes it's best if you start right off the side like I'm doing here and work your way around and really work that UV into like the collar area and you can stretch this stuff a little bit so don't be afraid to stretch it if you need to okay and I'll wipe my bodkin clean and get it ready for the next round I'll come in underneath. Uh, in reality, these take about half the time of the video. But, you know, when you're, you're tying a fly with stuff in your way, it's not always as easy. Okay. 
Now do the same thing again. Let's get a little drop of UV on there. And start to work it into the body. You gotta be careful with the UV because it can get away from you real quick. So between the ribs, if you want the ribs exposed, you can run your bodkin between the ribs. Kind of like if you had like a little tiny paintbrush and you were just kind of painting with it. Just like that. And uh, that's it. It's called a copper top POB. Uh, the original one was on, with a black bead and on a jig head. Uh, they still have the black wing case on there, which uh, I get. It sort of makes sense. You thought you'd think it'd be like a hot spot wing case or something, but for whatever reason, this pattern doesn't have that. So anyway, that's um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, share. And happy tying, everybody. Take care.